Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. In today's vlog, we are going to have a look around Home Firth. That's where I am right now. I'm just in the local park. We're gonna go into the center, have a little bit of a nosy round. So I have picked a brilliant day for it. The sun is shining and it doesn't look like it's going to stop sometime soon. So it's gonna be a hot one today. Now, I thought I would start with the oldest building in Home Firth and that's right behind me. And it's known as the Told Towser. And uh, I think that is uh, old dialect, old Home Firth dialect for the old jail. It was originally built as the church lockup. So you can imagine it's had a lot of people in there and usually it was uh, locals just thrown in there for drunken disorderly. But one of its most famous um, inmates, if you like, when it was a jail, uh, was the Reverend Edmund Robinson. And he was investigated for uh, performing weddings without a license, without a wedding license. And uh, he was obviously pocketing the money. And so he was thrown in here, which was ironically the church lockup at one point, but then it became a jail. So he was thrown in there and then further investigated. And they found out that uh, what he was doing with the money was he was coin clipping. And uh, we know a little bit about coin clipping if you've been following my vlog. So he was taking the edges off the gold coins and then getting them made into uh, into other coins. So he was uh, found guilty of coin clipping and he was hung over at York for coin clipping. So that's a little bit of history with this building, the oldest building in Home Firth. Now, I just want to say thank you for all the kind words regarding my last vlog. If I was American, I would say you guys rock, but I'm not, so what I will say is you'll do for me. Now, talking about your comments, Border Rambler, he gave me a uh, a lot of encouragement regarding uh, my last vlog and he also did say that uh, I should be close I should be very close to uh, last of the summer wine country so be careful what you wish for Dave so I thought why not why not come out to home first and let you guys have a look so we are going to have a look at some of the last of the summer wine stuff but it's not all about last of the summer wine home first of course goes way way back and there's some other things that I found out that you might be interested in so let's go down into the center of home first how dare you? <laughs> so let's go down into the center of Home Firth and have a look around and see some of the uh, last of the summer wine buildings. And uh, then we're gonna make our way out of the center and go for a nice little ramble. I'm gonna try and talk to you in between the traffic, hopefully. Now, for those of you that don't already know, Home Firth is in the heart of the Home Valley and just north of the Peak District. And it's an amazing sight as you walk into the center of Home Firth. The houses seem to have been built without any thought of order or road layout. And that's what gives Home Firth its unique character. Now, Home Firth is right on the confluence point of two rivers, the River Home and the River Ribble. And that made it a perfect location when the Industrial Revolution came to the Home Valley. The fast flowing, powerful water was perfect for powering the mills. Now I'm just standing outside the old bridge and it's a fantastic restaurant. Definitely visit here if you come to uh, Home Firth and you are wanting something decent to eat. I've had many a good time and a good drink in there. But uh, it's been closed down of course because of the lockdown uh, recently, but they'll be getting on their feet. I'm sure there are people inside there now uh, getting it back on its feet and ready to open next week. Next week we'll have the pubs reopening, yeah. Here's another famous place that you need to visit if you do come to Home Firth. You'll be doing well to find it if you're not from around here, so ask a local and get yourself into the Nook. Because of the crazy layout, uh, this place is of course called the Nook because we're, uh, we're stuck in this, little, uh, in this little Nook, literally in a little Nook. So uh, it's a great little pub and again, I've spent many a good time in there. So I've got the famous Sid's calf behind me and that appeared in many of the famous episodes of uh, Last of the Summer Wine. Now, because Home Firth is right on the uh, confluence point of the two rivers, it left it prone to uh, flooding. And there's been many floods over the years in, uh, in Home Firth. So we've got the famous wrinkled stocking, Nora that is placed behind me and uh, called the wrinkled stocking, of course, because Nora always had wrinkled stockings. 
<laughs> now, as I was talking about flooding, back in uh, 1852, on the 5th of February, early in the morning, the uh, Bilberry Reservoir, way up the hill, burst its embankment, and around uh, 90 million gallons of water came flying down the Home Valley, following the route of the River Home into Home Firth, destroying buildings and bridges on its way, and actually killed around 80 people. And as I say, Home Firth is still prone to flooding, but uh, that was known and still is known as the Great Flood of 1852. So another look at the wrinkled stocking there from across the river. Now, I did promise you early on we would go for a ramble, and we're going to go for a ramble to a spot called Upper Thong. There's quite a lot of thongs around here. There's Upper Thong, Nether Thong, Thongs Bridge, a lot of thongs around this area. But we're going to take a trip up the hill to Upper Thong. So I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. If you are enjoying it, give me a like, of course. Consider subscribing if you like this sort of thing. Now, uh, we've had a look down there in the village of Homefirth, and I thought I would bring you some of the feel of the village and uh, some things that happened before all of the last of the summer wine stuff. So I'm making my way up towards uh, Upper Thong. Now, in the early 1900s and stretching right into the 1950s, Home Firth had its own zoo and pleasure grounds, believe it or not. So, and they were really famous people. There were swings, uh, there was a roller skating rink, all sorts of stuff going on there. And it was in an area very close to here in between Home Firth and Honley. And it was known as Hope Bank. And people flocked there tens of thousands of people each year to enjoy everything that was going on, circus, the zoo, and the uh, roller skating rink, and all sorts of other entertainment. So there were a lot of entertainers that lived around here. And also, if you haven't heard the story of Fenella, the, uh, when the tiger came to live in Home Firth, I'll leave a link to this story. It's a true story about a lady that used to walk a tiger around Home Firth, around outside the school buildings way back. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link. It's worth reading and it's a true story about a tiger that actually lived here in Home Firth. So uh, yeah, check that out. So yeah, um, Home Firth famous for a lot more than just uh, Last of the Summer Wine. Now talking about uh, Last of the Summer Wine, we are here now at Upper Thong at St John's Church and we're going to have a look around because this is the final resting place of the famous compo, Bill Owen, and uh, Peter Sellis, who of course played Cleggie. So I'm going to look around here, it's a lovely uh, churchyard, and I'm going to see if I can find uh, the final resting place of these two famous characters from Last of the Summer Wang. So not very difficult to find the final resting place of Compo, Bill Owen, and uh, Peter Sellis, who of course played Cleggie. And he was also uh, famous for the voice of Wallace and Gromit. So what a wonderful final resting place for these guys looking out over home Firth and Upper Thong, the wonderful Yorkshire countryside which they'll have enjoyed while recording that wonderful series, Last of the Summer Wine. Now Roy Clark, who wrote all 295 episodes, and Peter Sellis, by the way, appeared in all of them, he said that the last one would be the last one, so there will be no more Last of the Summer Wine. But it's a great series to buy or download if you get the chance to. You'll get to see the Yorkshire countryside at its best, and it's very amusing as well. So the last episode was aired in 2010, and that seems to be it. So a wonderful place to finish this vlog. I brought you some views of Home Firth, and I hope you enjoyed the other facts about Home Firth. Home Firth is not just about Last of the Summer Wine. There's a lot going on here, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week, so if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. I don't know where I'll be next, but I know I want you with me. Bye.